Hi, my name is Nicole Ryan, and I'm an admission advisor at the University of Wisconsin Platteville. Today, my fellow admission advisor, Chris Kirkenbush, and I are going to do a walkthrough of the UW application and show you how quick and easy it is. So first, you're going to go to www.uwplat.edu and just click apply on the right hand side and it's going to bring you to our UW system application. Next, we're going to be creating an account. Make sure that you don't use your uh, high school email address and make sure that you use a professional sounding um, personal email. All right, and now that we've created our account and written down our password, we're going to start the application. This is where you can indicate if you are going to be pursuing a degree uh, or just taking a few courses, we're going to hit degree. Are you a US citizen? Yes. Have you graduated from high school or secondary school or earned your GED? Um, a lot of you are going to still be in high school in your senior year when you're filling this out. So we're going to click no. And then it's just verifying that you are in fact a freshman, considered a freshman applicant. This is where you get to uh, choose your school. So we're going to scroll down and it's going to allow you to pick either our main campus our branch campus at Baraboo Sauk County, or our branch campus in Richland. So we're gonna choose one of those. And this is where you get to uh, choose your major. And it's okay if you're coming in undecided, that's perfectly fine. I find that the easiest way to find your major is by clicking on that first button, which says search for majors and programs. And this is where our list comes up. You'll notice that the asterisk uh, denotes an online program. So I'm gonna choose one of those just so you can see what it looks like. So we're gonna choose criminal justice. When we go to the next page, you'll be able to, it'll let you choose. Um, this is a program that's offered both in person and online. So this is where you'll get to choose which one you prefer. And we're gonna choose in person. You'll notice that this is also where you can choose if you are undecided for your application. And we're going to select our term for fall 2021. And again, it's just verifying what you put in your freshman UW Platteville main campus for fall 2021, and you have selected criminal justice as your major. The next part of the application process at the University of Wisconsin uh, application process is going to be your basic information. You will need to input your name and last name. Also, uh, you're going to be choosing your gender and then also your gender identity. That is optional, but we really ask that you self-report. Uh, if you change your name, we'll also need to know that. Your date of birth is very important. And then also you're going to provide a form of identification. Social security is usually the number one that we see. Some people use tax ID. Uh, other people do not have one or do not want to provide one. So there's an option to pick there. You will enter that twice. You will enter your country as citizenship. You will enter your country of birth and you will enter your city of birth and also your state of birth. So you'll have to know those two, uh, two features there. You'll also need to add if your parents have a four-year college university degree as well on the application process after your basic personal information is going additional family background. So uh, it's going to ask if you had any military or if you were currently in the military as well as any ethnicity and race. Here again, we ask that you self-identify. It is an option. You would click save and continue. 
Then it's also going to ask for your contact information, uh, your permanent address, your cell phone number. Uh, it will also at this point ask for format, formatted excuse me, uh, information if uh, you have like a PO box or something like that. So then you will uh, ask if this is truly your mailing address and then you will hit save and continue. The next step is going to be adding your parent or guardian information. Um, you would add your mother and father if at all possible. If they reside in the same address and what your relationship is, if not, you will have to enter that as well. And then you can enter their email address. That is an option. You would save that parent and then you would maybe go back and add an additional parent information. And the last step in the personal information process is to verify your residency. This is important because this is going to be where you are living and considered for the next four years as a resident uh, for tuition purposes. So uh, you will click here if it's Wisconsin. If not, um, you will choose no. It will bring up uh, that information. It would also ask your parents' information for residency purposes. So if you're going to be adding your father, and it'll ask if he's a US citizen, resides in Wisconsin or outside of Wisconsin, as well as where their income tax is about. So for purposes of tuition, this is an important feature, and that should take you through the personal information part. Okay, next we're going to be uh, giving some information on our academic background. So this is where you're going to add your high school or high schools that you've attended. Do you currently attend? Yes. You'll put your start date of when you started at that high school and your end date. And this is where you can upload your high school transcript. And we're just going to choose a file there. File successfully uploaded. That's what we want to see. Save high school. If you attended multiple high schools, this is where you can add. We're going to just pick that one. Okay, and this is where you're going to put your, uh, your schedule. So you can either manually enter um, your high school courses or you can upload a file. And again, I'm just gonna choose a file. It'll tell us that it was successfully uploaded. And if you have taken any college level courses or dual credit classes, this is where you'll be able to put those. Um, you would not select yes if it's AP, uh, IB, or Project Lead the Way courses, um, but we're going to say yes. And then it's going to ask which college you uh, took classes through. So we're going to put that we took classes at Blackhawk Technical College. It'll ask for attendance dates, just like with your uh, high school coursework. And we're going to put that we did not earn a degree there. We just took a couple classes. And then this is where you would include your college transcript as well, so they can see those courses that you took. Make sure that it uploaded and then save that. Okay, as of this summer, test scores are not required for your UW application at Platteville. Uh, so we're going to choose one of these. We either are going to choose yes, uh, consider my ACT or SAT scores for admission, or no. Um, but I do not want them considered for admission. There is an option three. Um, I would try to choose yes or no if you can, but if you really are not sure what you're going to do yet, you can click that option three. The next section is going to be your holistic background. This section, you will choose the activities. I've added one here. Uh, you can choose all those other activities you were in in high school. You may have quite a few. Add them here each time. You will choose the name of the club, your participation level, as well as your uh, 
years in high school that you participated in that activity. And if you had a role of leadership, example would be president. And then if you intend to participate in this activity in college, you would save that activity. And then this is where you would add an activity. So if you have more like three or four activities, you would add that there. The next section is going to be your employment. So if you have work experience, you probably have a resume all put together. That's the easiest route to go. You would upload that resume. If not, you'll have to manually enter that information. I've already uploaded a pretend resume. Also, if you do not work or have not worked, excuse me, you can just click a button that's gonna be here that you do not have any work experience to add. You would hit save and continue. The next section is going to be your essay. This is probably the most important part of your application. It really is going to demonstrate who you are as a person outside of your transcripts. So you, we would really like you to take some forethought, forethought excuse me, to read the question. Uh, think about how you'd like to proceed outside of this document, the application, probably in a Word document, you will start your essay. You could just start writing or you may have an outline feature. We ask that you have someone proofread the document before you upload it in the essay, as well as spelling and grammar, and try to keep the essay to about 250 words or a couple paragraphs. Just please be authentic and realize that this is an indication of who you are as a student and what you will bring to the table. Uh, for this purpose, I added Go Pioneers, and then I'm going to hit Save and Continue. The submit portion here kind of highlights everything that you've done so far. It includes what the cost, which is $25, and then it'll go over some housekeeping uh, opportunities. If you wish to apply to more campuses, you would click this button here, and we'll go back and take you to that main menu. The next step is going to be submitting your application. So this is the point where this is X'd out right now for um, internal purposes, but you would click that you're going to pay. You will be brought to a, uh, a page that asks for your information, a credit card, and then it also will ask if you need a needs-based waiver. If you look down here, this is X'd out on the bottom left, uh, you would fill all of that in. You click and agree that yes, this is truthful, and then it's going to take your uh, signature electronically. Once you sign and submit your application, the next steps will be getting an email back saying your application has been sent into UW, and they will review it. If there are further questions, those processors are going to be reaching out and asking you for some questions. Um, so just hold tight, you've done everything right, you hit the submit button, but if you do have any other further questions, Nicole and I are very thankful that you sat through the tutorial. Hopefully you learned a little bit, but if you have questions, you can certainly reach us here down at the Office of Mission, the phone number and email address as well. Uh, we realize that this can be a little bit um, unnerving at times, but we hope we gave you some tidbits to help you get started and, and be successful in finishing that application. So thank you very much for attending and we hope to see you at UW Platteville. Thank you.